<laughs> Hi, welcome to another episode of Patents TV. I'm your host, Jenna Fallbush, and today Kelly Suiting joins me here in the studio to tell us about some accessible resources that she can make on the go. So, Kelly, thank you for being here. And thank you, Jenna. Yeah, tell us what you brought for us. Yeah, so I just wanted to show a few ways, free ways, that you can make accessible educational materials kind of on the go. We have to be, at the end of the year, things kind of get crazy and lesson plans change. And especially if you're working, you're co-teaching with the general ed teacher and you walk in and, and the teacher says, oh, plans have changed. We need to do this today. You, you have to remember that even though that things change with us, that we have to continue to be um, consistent with our students and we have to make sure that they are still able to work independently. So I have my new lesson plan change and I have three worksheets and I need to make them accessible. So the technology that you're going to be using to make your documents accessible on the go is OCR, which is optical character recognition. I will be the first to admit I don't understand exactly how it works, but and I don't need to know because I know it automatically does what I need it to do. It basically takes an image and will recognize it in text. So if I just take a picture of these documents and I upload it on my computer, that's just an image. And so the computer's not able to recognize the text. So what OCR does, it scans the document again and then it pulls out the text so I can have it read out loud, I can manipulate it, I can write notes on it, I can do all kinds of things with that. So if I'm in the copy room, you know, in the teacher's lounge, and I scan it into my email as a PDF, that is not accessible or it is? That's a great question because a lot of times we'll have teachers say, well, it's a PDF, I made it on the copier, uploaded it, and now it's accessible. That's not correct. It is still considered an image and you will still have to use the OCR technology, which I'm going to show you on the computer right now. I found this really great online resource and you could use it on your PC, your Mac, or your Chromebook and it's called OnlineOCR.net. This is a free version. You can have a paid version of this website and it will actually translate into different languages for you, but for the purposes of this and for on the go, I don't have a student you know, who's ELL and so I'm good with this. So what I do, I basically select a file and it's three steps and I've already taken a picture and uploaded them on my computer and I'm just going to pick the image that I had uploaded. Okay, so now it's uploading and I'm going to show you what I actually uploaded. I have George Washington in his hatchet. So I, this student, let's pretend that this student needs this text read out loud to them. So right now if I click on the text, nothing happens, which tells me that it's not accessible. Okay, And so down here, just to make sure that they know that you're not a robot, you have to put in these little numbers, so I'm going to do that, and then it says turn it into a Microsoft Word document, and then I'm just going to hit convert. So it says processing, which is scanning the document now, my picture, and just like that really quickly, and this online free website I found is almost spot on. Still, while it's here, nothing can be done with it. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy all of it, which is Command A and I have a Google Doc opened and then I'm just going to paste it into my Google Doc. So now I have, just in a matter of minutes really, I have my worksheet, it's been uploaded to my computer and now I have an accessible document for my student. There's an extension on Google Chrome which I love, it's called Read Write for Google. And so now I just turn that on and right now I can have this George Washington read out loud. Hatchet. George Washington and his hatchet. As teachers, you get a lot of training on how to make accessible materials. Like these are great things that you should teach your students to independently do. The summer's coming, they're still going to need to read, and these tools are free, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with showing your students how to do this, and I, I highly recommend that that happens. Google Chrome now has a built-in OCR, which is really fabulous. So I've already uploaded, as you know, my picture, my into my computer and it's in my Google Drive right now. So this is how you make that happen to start the OCR on, on Google Docs. So I have to right click on my doc and I'm going to open it with Google Docs. And so once I click Google Docs, it automatically starts doing the OCR on my document. So it's an image right now and Google Docs is scanning it to pull out the text. It keeps the original image at the top so you can always go back and refer and if you need to make any edits you can look. So here is my picture. If I click on it you can see it's not highlighting any text which shows that this part is not accessible. But once I scroll down here is all of my text. And then again I can have it read out loud using Read Write for Google. George Washington and his hatchet. So now I wanted to make sure that I showed a few different formats, not knowing what kind of technology that all of our students use. 
I want to show you a few things on the iPad too. My three uh, worksheets that I have are already in my camera roll. So the first one I want to show you is called Doc Scanner plus OCR, and this is a free app, and this is a really great app for OCR. So down here at the bottom I have options. There's a camera where I can just take the picture and it's just going to go right onto Doc Scanner, but since I've already done that, I'm going to choose it from my library. So I'm going to open the same George Washington document, and you see it has a box around it, and this is a way you can crop it to whatever size you want. I'm just going to shorten a little bit. So once I do that, the steps are really simple. You just, at the top right, I'm going to hit next. And so here's my document. And this is great. I can change, if you have a student who's blind low vision, you have options to change the text to make it darker and all of these different options that are down at the bottom. But what makes this really easy? There's a button that says OCR. How great is that? We all need that sometimes, especially when this is new. I'm just going to hit OCR and I want it to recognize the text. So right now it's not accessible, but my OCR is making it accessible. So here's my text. So here in this Doc Scanner plus OCR app, it does not read anything out loud. So I love to take two apps and kind of marry them together because I think they can do great things. So again, I'm just going to take my text and select it all, and I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to put it into a different app, which is Pages, which is equivalent to like Microsoft Word for an app. And I'm going to hit Create New Doc, blank. And I'm just going to turn my view a little bit so it's a little bit bigger. And I'm going to paste my George Washington text so I can take notes on here, I can put comments in here, but certainly students are probably going to want this read out loud, which is why I'm doing the OCR. So with the iPad is voiceover. So I have voiceover on my shortcut, so I'm going to hit my home button three times and I'm just going to turn voiceover on. So now I have it on. And now it's going to read just like that. And the next app that I like to use is called SnapType. And there's a free version of SnapType. What this one does is, is basically the same thing. All of these are OCR apps. And I've already taken my picture, and I have one of a character map that I want students to be able to just type right in directly. So I'm just going to pull the, the image out that I needed to work with, and I could name it. And I'm just going to put test. And again, this is in SnapType. And I'm going to open it up. So now I have it in here into my snap type. The one thing it's not going to do is I don't need it read out loud. What I want to happen here is I want to just be able to type right onto my document. So what does the character look like? Um, I'll just put nice. So right away you can work on this just, just like that in just a matter of a few seconds. And then I can save it and email it or upload it into my Google Drive or wherever I want to save it and turn it into my teacher. So I'm able to take this document if a student is unable to manipulate a pencil and just always uses keyboarding, this is a great way to do that. And if I used voiceover, I could have it read out loud as I type. So SnapType Pro is another great app. Last but certainly not least, I wanted to show you uh, Claro PDF Pro, which is an amazing app. And if there's one app that you would want to use to make accessible materials, this is the one that I would highly recommend. I think the price has gone up. I think it may be $6 now, which is absolutely worth it. So let's just say this is a test and, or a pop quiz and you really weren't ready, you don't have it accessible and you need to make it accessible on the go. I'm just going to um, pick my photo, which is in my library, so I'm going to take a photo from PDF. So it's going to be an image that's not accessible that I need to make accessible. So I'm going to pick it. So these are questions um, from actually George Washington and his hatches. So these are the, the questions that it's going to ask. So here they are, and what Claro uh, PDF actually does is it has uh, automatically reads for you. So it has voice in here that we can play it. Here's my text, and I can write my answers right on here um, as I go down, so it's accessible just like that on the go. That's fantastic. Yeah, so these are just a few tools. Mostly, most of them are free that you can show your students how to use. Again, I highly recommend that you show your students how to do this themselves. So. When the summer comes, they're able to do this independently and they can apply it to any kind of documents. You know, if your student has a print disability, this is a great way that they can independently access the information by themselves. So, Well, thank you so much. Those are awesome. I know speaking from a gen ed teaching perspective, I know that I could use these. Um, 
and with a little help too if I needed it, ask you know your colleague next door, hey, can you help me take a picture with my um, my iPod <laughs> or iPad or whatever it might be. Um, so it's definitely very easy to use, and like you said, it'd be great for the summer for these kids to continue yeah. to read um, independently. Yeah, because students pick up things way quicker than we do. I remember working with a smart board, and if I was like, oh, I wonder how you do that, every student had the answer. Yeah. And so they're always willing to help and figure out things really quickly. And I know this is really fast and this is just a few things. So if anyone needs further information or wants a list of those resources, don't hesitate to contact us and we'll be happy to come and give you some training on that or give you some quick tips and give you the list of everything that we have used today. Thank you. Yeah. So thanks, Jenna. Thank you so much for being here and thanks for watching.